All right, uh, Hawkins here with Chicken Hawk Farm Set, and today we're going to take a look at this Tack Light Jump Starter Model 6T. Uh, you can see right there on the, by the picture, it does an uh, engine start. It's got the little output 12 volt, it's got a 5 volt 2 amps, and a 5 volt 1 amp, and then a flashlight. So, yeah, this is basically like a, one of the battery or a phone battery bank your phone it's pretty much all it's got on there but uh i want to say this one is either 12 or 10,000 milliamp hours let me crack it on we'll take a better look at that here in just a second but this thing will also uh it comes with little jumper cables and it's supposed to be capable of jumping a car so we're not going to drive my car tonight but i do have a lawnmower that's got a dead battery on it down away from the house so i can't use my regular battery charger so we're going to use this little bad boy here and see if we can jump in and get that lawnmower started. Get it up to the house so I can uh, fix the belt on it. So let's pop this open real quick and take a quick look. Alright, straight out of the box. It's got a nice hefty case here. So this is uh, Tyke Life, Tyke Life brand. They make a lot of tools and stuff that I've gotten. From what I understand, it's uh, Amazon's kind of tool car. It's an Amazon brand. They do more like the car stuff, tools. And a few other kind of items, but uh, like I said, I got one similar to this, but the other one I have is a 20,000 milliamp hour, so it is larger than this one. Uh, if you watch closely, you can get these on sale from time to time. Picked this up uh, for half price, I would think it was, or 45% off. It's around 35, 40 bucks, and that's what I paid for the other one as well. The other one was nice enough, even though this was smaller. I went ahead and went with it. So we open up. Okay, see this. Other ones, it's got a little uh, pouch up here. It doesn't have this zipper. I like that zipper though. It's gonna keep everything from falling out. We got our uh, charging cable. Okay, this is a was it USB C? The the bigger one. The other one I have is um, no, that's USB C. This is micro or mini or whatever it is. So the other the other one's the USB C, and uh, yeah. Okay, but this one, see my other one didn't come with this. This actually comes with a wall charger. Little barrel connector, that's kind of nice. Possibly. Uh, another one for the car kit. Okay, that way you can just leave it in your car and keep the top off all the time. And this plugs in here, and that's what's gonna be for uh, jumping vehicles or anything like that. And uh, it was this one and the other one, I think they both said that they, they'll jump like a four liter diesel. And this is a cool little adapter here. So anything you got that plugs into a cigarette outlet, you can also run off this device. And uh, the big thing when jumping anything off of it, we're about to find out here, is this thing really needs to be completely full to get that good capacity on there. It says, uh, do not jump start a vehicle if less than 50% capacity. Right there. And I would say, honestly, 100. Because you... You, you don't have a lot of the juice, but what it is, you're putting everything this has into the battery and then you're dumping it, you know, quickly through the these thicker cables here, of course. So it's going to dump everything it's got in here into your starting battery. And then your starting battery, you know, that's how it works with the code cranking amps. Because it just drops, you know, a massive surge of energy all at once. And that's how, you know, they get that starter turning. So... Oh wow! See, this thing does feel good. It looks good. I like. I really like Tack Life's uh, black and orange. Okay, we got four out of five bars. Uh, so, doesn't have a digital readout, but it does have the little bars. It's better than nothing. Your input, output, little flashlight. Oh, strobe. What else we got? SOS. Yeah, all that fun stuff. There's where we'll uh, hook our jump starter up. And let's see, what is this one particularly? Fully charged before use, yada yada, never use. Uh, jump start port for anything other than jump starting. Because it's going to push everything out at once. And here's the important information we want to see. We have, okay, see, this is a good size one 16,500 milliamp hours. So I'll take that, it's not bad at all. Like I said, the other one, uh, 
paid about the same and it was a 20,000. But, and then there's our outputs or inputs, 15 volts, one up. All right, like I said, the texture of this too is it's not really rubbery, but it doesn't feel like plasticky either. And it, and it's kind of like a rubbery coated plastic. All right, but that's, uh, that's all I'm gonna show for now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the car adapter and see if we can get, cause that is one thing. Yeah, there's the input there, output. That's one thing I like about the, the other one. Uh, I can charge it, use it, I can charge it via the USB-C port. This one has to be a barrel connector. Don't really like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Wasn't that, it's not like it was super expensive. It does come with two barrel connectors. So, and like this one here, I can use that to charge it off my solar system. Cause uh, just straight off the battery, DC. So that'd be kinda cool. So it's an extra battery I can charge off of my solar panels. But like I said, I'm gonna get this thing topped off, get over there and see if I can get that uh, mower started and moved. So, we'll be right back. All right, so now at the lawnmower, I just uh, hooked this thing up. Uh, as soon as I hooked the, plug that in, hook these up, light turned green. This thing's clicking. So, I don't know if you heard that or not. Hit the power button. Here it clicks again. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit here. I don't know, 45 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, it's strange. There's a little clicking sound. Sorry for the bad lighting, but it is, uh, you know, middle of the night. <clears throat> Way down from the house. You know, so middle of the night, middle of nowhere. That's when you're going to be using this, most likely, right? So. All right, I'm going to try to give it a start. And let's see what happens. Put on break. Take it to the house. Definitely worth uh, the 30, 40 bucks. 